Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where today I'm doing another crock pot recipe for you. It's a warm and comforting soup leading into these cooler and colder days ahead of us. Okay guys, what do you think of white chicken chili soup? Oh my gosh, we are not going to forget about those delicious warm seasonings that we love in chili going into this white and creamy soup. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put our chicken breast into the crock pot. Now I have three large chicken breasts. These are skinless, boneless. So you can put in about one to two pounds of chicken. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is an onion. And really what you want to do is just rough chop it. Now as many onions as you want in there. This is a stew kind of like, so we want to add a lot of flavor to it. You know, when you cook things in a crock pot, you need them to be kind of big because they will melt down in there and you won't be able to find them. So we want the texture of the onion. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is get two teaspoons of minced garlic. So I'm just going to use my little garlic topper here. In the bottom of it, it has that little sleeve, which helps you take all that peel off your garlic. All right, just like that. You just place it in the top part. All right, there we go. Using this right here, you don't get the little minced, okay? This is kind of a chopped garlic right here. It also slices and dices. All right, we're gonna add this to our chicken. It's kind of a dump and go meal, guys. That's always the best part about these crock pot meals. All right, I've got my diced garlic going in. I'm gonna spread that all over. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just making my broth. Um, I use chicken better than bouillon. Guys, if you've never tried this yet, it's in the soup aisle, it is wonderful. You use one teaspoon per cup of water. And it adds a delicious kind of a roasted chicken flavor to anything you cook that you put this in. All right, so we're gonna need eight ounces of green chilies. Now I'm using this flame roasted green chilies. We picked this up at Costco. Oh my gosh, it's one of our favorite ingredients to use. You're gonna need about eight ounces. Or you can get the little cans that are four ounces and use two of those. I'm going to go ahead now and add 14 ounces of whole kernel corn. Now you can use canned corn or frozen corn and you want to make sure that you drain it if you're using the canned corn. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle in one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, we're gonna put in one teaspoon of ground cumin. Well, it's gonna give it a delicious flavor. These flavors are gonna mimic taco seasoning almost. So if you wanted to use taco seasoning blend, you can, like a packet. It's the same flavors. All right, we're gonna add three quarter teaspoons of dried oregano. A quarter of a teaspoon of some cayenne pepper half a teaspoon of some chili powder. Just gonna kind of blend this together a little bit in there. Now there's some other ingredients and we're gonna finish this off after we cook the chicken until it's nice and tender. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and place the lid on. Now you can cook this on low for eight hours or you can cook it on high for three to four hours. Just make sure that your chicken is fork tender. 
That smells delicious. Okay, that chicken has fallen apart. What I'm going to do at this point is take the chicken out and I'm going to shred it all up. I'm going to put it back in here with a few more ingredients. Let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, guys, and then we're going to be ready. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and add about a quarter to half a cup of some heavy whipping cream or you can even use half and half or if you want you can use just regular milk. I'm going to give that a mix. Alright, I've got some cream cheese here. I'm going to place about half of the block here which is about four ounces. I'm just going to cut it into slices and lay it all over the soup here. We're going to cook this down for another, like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to be good to go. Okay guys, my family could not wait to come home for this creamy chicken chili stew in the crock pot. Okay, let me show you how I'm going to eat this. Okay, here's the perfect bite right here. Mmm. Okay. What's going on in this soup? That chicken is so tender, y'all, and it was cooked and infused with all of those flavors. And that this right here is gold. <laughs> so comforting, so warm, and so delicious, you guys. Now, this is like a white chicken chili, and I know, I know you're going to say it. Where's the beans? You can certainly put beans in there. We don't really like beans in this house too much, so we don't miss it, though, in the stuff we cook, so. But you can certainly put it in there if you want. Okay, guys, add some sour cream, some cilantro if you want. I got some crushed tortillas here, a little bit of lime. That's your perfect bite. Okay, how's that for another fall food soup? Okay, make sure you give me my thumbs up. Comment down below because you know I love reading all of your comments. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so that you'll always know when my shows are posted. Guys, I will see you on the next episode.